The duo situation on NA has gotten even crazier since my last video, and we also have a potential hacker that qualified for the $2 million zero build land, so let's get right into it. If you guys didn't see what went on the other day with Poyo and Sphinx, Poyo was going to play with Acorn for this season, but to do so, Poyo and Sphinx had to sign a disband form for the FNCS Global Championship since they got third place last season. If you are not sure what the disband form is, it's a form that both players must sign in order to give up their land spot and then go play with another teammate and try to re-qualify with that new teammate. Sphinx ended up tweeting that he would not be signing the form and almost everyone agreed with him for that decision. For him to just give up his spot and potentially giving up a huge huge opportunity like this could be career damaging for him. Getting top 10 again with another teammate isn't guaranteed for him and it's a good decision to try and work it out with Poyo and keep playing and improving. This isn't the craziest story though because Acorn and Poyo wouldn't even have been a duo after news broke today that Acorn and Cold missed the April 11th deadline to disband and are basically forced to duo this season and for the FNCS Global Championship. This to me could end up being a blessing in disguise for Acorn and Cold because if they can fix their minor issues, I still believe they have a great shot at winning again next season and potentially even winning the global championship. This situation has a huge impact on how this season will go and what duos will be formed now that Epic, Will, and Cold will not be duoing. It will be interesting to see if Epic goes back to Reet or maybe we see a duo like Epic, Will, and Scented or Epic, Will, and Muzz. We could even be maybe seeing a duo like Epic, Will, and Booga potentially. So the duo drama in NA is not over yet for sure. Let me know down below your thoughts on Acorn and Cold being back and also who you think Epic Whale should play with now moving forward. The other situation I wanted to talk about is the potential zero build cheater named Kika who just got 8th place at Dreamhack Dallas and is now being called out on Twitter for being a cheater by Pilkey, Kwani, Queezy, and a lot of other people who have made tweets calling him out. This is the first clip posted yesterday about him potentially having cheats from Kwani. Take a look. This was followed up by Pilkey posting a four minute long video of him with clips accusing Kika of cheating and the clips all occur in just one session of zero build tokens. There's also some other sus clips like this. I'm going right, I'm going right, left on me. Yeah, that's a duo. But overall, either this guy has the single greatest aim and tracking skills in Fortnite history or he's just full hacking. I'm not sure if he'll get banned, but hopefully there's a proper investigation into this because I don't think it would be good to let a cheater play a $2 million land, which takes place next month. If he does end up getting banned, then Queezy and Vino would now be qualified to the Gamers 8 land, which is kind of the reason as to why Queezy has jumped into this and has been very vocal about trying to call out Kika. If you guys want to watch Pilgy's tweet and see more, I'll link it in the description below. To me, I definitely think he's cheating. I think some of the clips he could be clean in, but overall, I just feel like some of the clips are just in human and the way he always just seems to know where people are through walls. I also think that if he's cheating he's dumb and if he was somehow cheating in dreamhack he's even dumber. Watch all the clips and comment down below your thoughts on the Kika situation and if you believe he's legit or if you think he's hacking. That's going to do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel it would be great if you subscribe. I'm going to keep dropping videos similar to this to help keep you informed on everything that goes down so stay tuned for more videos just like this one. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.